And of course, moving on from that, we have to talk about the main man, and that is Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, he keeps um, causing us absolute nightmares as Man United fans. We can't seem to tell what's actually going on at the club. Is he staying? Is he going? No one actually knows. But this is a really big development from the club because it's it, effectively what it's done is that it's thrown the entire club under disrepute and it's also been a stark reminder that whatever we thought has changed with the reshuffle, with the hiring of John Murto to be the quasi-director of football, with Richard Arnold coming in and replacing Ed Woodward um, and everything else that's going on in the backroom staff and the boardroom level, essentially what I've always said from the day dot, until the Glazers go, we are never going to become a successful football club because we're not run by success. We're not run by serious football people, and this is definitely what it's been shown. Because United had a friendly match the other day against Real Vallecano, um, the team that Bebe, former United player, and Falcao play for. And during that game, Ronaldo played surprisingly because he hasn't trained that much and he's been kind of MIA on this whole like sickness leave thing going on you know he had something wrong with the family but effectively his agent's been shopping around to different clubs and no club is basically bit but he effectively had to come back finally to United he trained for a couple of times I think played against Rava kind of only for the first half because obviously he's not match fit and then at half time he left the stadium now at the time that this happened the brief in the club was that many other players did so and also that he was given permission and there's nothing wrong but a lot of fans were basically noticed that he kind of left the match you know at half time because a lot of the fans were waiting outside the stadium he obviously stopped to give you know autographs take pictures which was nice for him to do he didn't just storm off but still having a player as senior as Ronaldo decide to leave at half time is definitely not good for the club morale it's definitely not good for the club unity and definitely not good for the new manager Eric Ten Hag if he wants to try to bring the dressing room together and considering all the issues that we've had with prior managers with prior regimes it just doesn't seem like this is going to be helpful to what Ten Hag is trying to do at this club and I feel like now there needs to come a strong decision from up above whether it's from the board in terms of enabling and giving Ten Hag the authority and the ability to say hey Ronaldo you're not in my plans until you commit to this club or um, it gives them the ability to maybe just rush this transfer forward and basically get him out of the club as soon as possible. Because I feel like having him around the players now, considering what Eric Tanak is trying to do and trying to get the club back to where it needs to be and trying to build a good kind of club morale isn't beneficial. He's too experienced, he's too old um, of a player to have you know around the squad, on the bench, not playing. So the best thing to do would be to kind of send him to the youth team, let him train there, or just basically have him on ice until he gets a transfer out of the club because this isn't going to end well. It really isn't. And again, like I said beforehand, this also proves that the reshuffle that we did with the boardroom members and the hiring of John Murto and the promoting of you know Richard Arnold from inside and them saying that Richard Arnold is nothing like Ed Woodward and da 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 da. This is not true. The same issues that we had under Ed Woodward's regime are still persisting and basically goes to show that effectively the, the Glazers' ownership, we are unable to run like a football football club because I don't think to happen at any other proper football club they wouldn't have a player like Ronaldo essentially dictating what the club does in terms of trying to sign players in terms of trying to convince him to stay in terms of bending over backwards to do anything for him proper football clubs wouldn't do it they'd look at it coldly they'd look at it almost um, methodically and just make a decision um, in terms of business, in terms of football, in terms of success and ability to win trophies, what makes more sense? And having an ageing 37-year-old Ronaldo up front leading the line for this club, considering where we want to go, probably isn't a smart decision. But if you are going to have him, he has to commit and be on board with what Eric Ten Hag is going to do and basically be under the, you know, be under the idea or be be okay with the idea that Eric Ten Hag is running the ship and it's not Ronaldo's show anymore at all. He's not the biggest player at the club. So he's not the biggest person at the club. The biggest person at the club should always be um, the manager going forward. And this uh, development here, courtesy of BBC Sport, basically clarifies that effectively what the club tried to tell us that it was okay for the players to leave at halftime wasn't exactly true. So it's a headline for BBC Sport. It says, Man United players, including Cristiano Ronaldo, criticised by Ericsson Hogg for leaving friendly early. I like how they specify that it's Man United players criticised. Yeah? Man United players, they've specified that clearly because I guess his, his team now don't want it to look like he's being um, disobedient or being a brat because that's not going to help his brand. It's also not going to help his ability to find a new club if he's kind of, you know, throwing his toys at the prime. So it's effectively, it continues the article. It says, Man United boss Eric Ten Hag says it's unacceptable that several players, including Cristiano Ronaldo, led the friendly on Old Trafford versus Rayo Vallecano right earlier. 
Ronaldo in his, it, Ronaldo in his first preseason game had been replaced at half time. He was pictured leaving with Diego Dallo, who had sat in the director's box with several players, all of whom left 10 minutes before the end. Okay, so Ronaldo left with Diego Dallo at half time, and the rest of them left 10 minutes before the end, which you're not meant to do. Think about it from your, your normal workplace. If you go for workplace drinks, you're not usually, I would say you're not allowed to leave, but you feel bad leaving after one drink sometimes. Or if you do leave, you have to live on a French exit type of vibe and pretend you're going to the toilet. But for the most part, if you're with your work colleagues, you try and stay until maybe the first person leaves or something, right? But you try and be a little bit social. So you imagine even for a football club, if you're going to attend a game, you have to stay until the end. You, you know what I mean? Until you're basically dismissed, you stay. But there's no like leaving at half time or leaving 10 minutes before. It doesn't make any sort of sense. It continues. It says, we are a team and that means you stay until the end, said Ten Hag. It's unacceptable for all those involved. United drew the game 1-1 with Ronaldo, unable to make his, make his mark, to, unable to mark his return to action with a goal. The 37-year-old who returned to United last season um, has spells with Real Madrid and Juventus, is keen to move away from Old Trafford to pursue the desire to compete in the Champions League and he is allowed to miss um, the Thailand tour and the Australian tour for personal reasons, but basically because he's a big-time player, which is really bad as well. Eight times as previously said, Ronaldo is not for sale and remains in our plans. New signing Eric, Christian Eriksen and Sandra Martinez both featured um, for an hour against Rayo Vallecano in a game set up by Eric Ten Hag for the players who are not involved extensively in the Saturday's 1-0 defeat at Aleph Club Madrid in Oslo. United opened their 2022-2023 Premier League season at home to Brighton on Sunday the 7th of August, which is coming up coming up this weekend so yeah personally for me if it was up to me i would cut my losses now and get rid of ronaldo i don't think we should be bending over backwards for a 37 year old ronaldo it doesn't make any sort of sense going forward if he has to stay we have to basically get him to commit to stay and also get him to agree that Ericsson hug is boss and what he says basically goes and if that's the case then fair enough i'm happy to him to stay it's most likely not going to happen so if that's the case either freeze him out or get him out of the club in my opinion because i can't be doing with this bullshit i can't be dealing with this bullshit